Is this expensive toothbrush worth the money? Today we're going to find out. So today we're going to be testing this expensive toothbrush versus these cheaper ones. So this one cost £20 for the one brush uh, and these one were a pound for the two. So much, much cheaper, about 20 times or if not 40 times more expensive per brush on the expensive one. So we've got a couple cool test pans. We'll start by looking at the bristles under microscope. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll move on to our patent pending toothbrush tester, see which one lasts longer. Finally, what we'll do is see which one works better on onion breath. It'll give us an idea of which one cleans better. So let's get started looking at the microscope. So just before we actually look at the microscope, let's get these open and see what they're like because I haven't seen what these brushes are like so you can see they've gone with the cardboard packaging on this one so and there it comes with should be two okay it comes with two heads comes with a spare one uh, and one already on the brush it has a nice weight to it this is this oh this is actually metal so that's quite a nice uh, finish on that that's not too bad at all um, yeah that's quite nice let's have a look at these ones these are the cheap ones obviously let's see if we can open these so a bit harder to open I would say oh there we go finally got it um, yeah, again, so these are going to be all, all plastic parts and silicone. So it's got silicone molding uh, and plastic parts on the outside. So on the surface of it, they look relatively similar. I would say this one's slightly heavy. Obviously, it's metal and it does have that uh, replaceable head, which is quite interesting. So yeah, quite quite cool overall. It's interesting. One thing I've noticed straight away is the bristles on the expensive one are quite a fair bit harder than on the cheap one. So I presume it's made with a different material. This is definitely nylon on the cheap one. So I can show you the difference in sound. So lis listen carefully. So that's the cheap one. And then this is the expensive one. You can hear how much louder this is. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's a very, very different straight off the bat. So we've got an electric microscope here. Let's start with a cheap one and see what we can see on the bristles. Focus in. We're going to get in closer. Let's see if we can see the tips on them. So you can see how round they look. So it's got quite a nice rounded edge. They're relatively uniform. That's not too bad. And you can see... Again, you can see the sort of makeup of nylon, a bit of dust in there, which kind of makes sense, to be honest. Maybe that's already a bit worn in. So they look a little bit, it does, it's not used, but it, does, it looks like it will wear quite quickly. Let's just zoom out again. You can slightly better condition the white ones. It, must, it might be a slightly different uh, nylon that they're using on that. Okay, that's interesting. Let's have a look at the expensive ones now. So we can see on the expensive one, it's much more uniform and flat on the top. And they look a lot, if you look on the sides, there's like a lot less wear and tear. So I genuinely think this will last a fair bit longer. So if you look at those as well, you'll notice they're spiraled. So again, all of that texture is going to help with the toothbrushing. So yeah, I think that's quite interesting. So I think it's safe to say the expensive one on the microscope test. I just think it looks a lot neater uh, and a bit more interesting in terms of some of the technology in there on the actual fibers. Now let's move on to the durability test and we'll test it in our machine here. So you can see we've got a sawzall. I've zip tied the toothbrush onto the end of it here and I've taken the sharpness off the blade. So we should be able to just do that and get a really, really good test of the toothbrush uh, to see its durability. You might be wondering what we're actually going to test this on. Obviously, we're not going to put that in our mouth. We'll test it on this stone here. You can see it's very hard, similar like tooth, uh, and it's nice and jaggedy to give us a really good rough use of the toothbrush to compare them nicely. So we'll use that. So let's just set that up there. So we'll run it on the top of our brick here for about 10 seconds. So let's do that now. So just change this over to the expensive one and then we'll compare what they both look like. But it does look quite like it's held up quite well, this cheap one. Right, so we've got the expensive one set up. Let's test it. If we look at the two of them, I definitely think the expensive one has held up better. You can see the shape of the bristles is pretty much relatively the same but on the cheap one you can see it's gotten a lot wider and it looks a lot fluffier and again that's just that that nylon we saw earlier in the microscope you'll just see it does it does have quite a strong effect in terms of the quality of that so yeah definitely definitely the uh, expensive one on the uh, on this test here for our third and final test what we'll do is we'll see which one can fix onion breath the quickest um basically it's just going to give us a sense of which one brushes slightly better i know it's not a perfect test but I think it'll be it'll be good enough for what we're trying to do. So we'll peel this onion so we can take a nice bite out of it. Get rid of the skin on the outside. Let's activate our onion breath. So we'll take a nice bite. Mmm. So onion. Hot. Look at the water. So at the moment, the breath is about definitely like 9, 10 out of 10 oniony wise. Extremely strong. Let's see how much we can remove. Right, so starting with the cheap one, let's get some 
toothpaste onto it. Pea size amount. So we've got a toothpaste on there. So brush for 30 seconds in both cases. So let's do that now. Right, so after the cheat one, I can say, honestly, that tastes so much better. That did a really good job. Nice brushing. I think overall action in terms of getting all of the sort of the taste molecules out my mouth. Um, let's see what it's like now. Damn, that's, that's like a 3-4. Extremely good. So this works really well, the cheap one. Let's try the expensive one now. Obviously, we've got to load up a more onion first, so let's do that. Load up our expensive toothbrush here, like so. Right, let's brush now. That's really interesting. It's a completely different performance from this. I think because it's got smaller bristles in there, it manages to get further into the teeth. I do feel like it's slightly improved in terms of the quality of the brush overall. I think the smell is gone a little bit more than it was on cheap one. So it's only like a two out of 10, almost completely gone. So we saw that we got a much better performance out of the expensive one today. Um, but what we have to decide now, is it really worth about 20 or 40 times the individual price of the cheap one? So you see, the thing is we did get better performance on the expensive than the cheap on all of our tests. So we can't really argue with that. But is it is that really 20 or 40 times the price? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. But my gut feeling is that the cheap is what you can afford. It's gonna be more than adequate. I think you can get an adequate brush with the cheap, absolutely. But if you can afford the expensive, it might be worth it in terms of looking after your teeth that little bit more. It's slightly less rough on your teeth, I think as well on the expensive one. So I think for that reason, the expensive just edges out the win and on top of the fact that I had better performance today. So the expensive wins, very cool. So let me know in the comments what you think we should try next. Is there some experiments we've done before you want to see done again or is there some new stuff you want to see us try? So as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment if you did. Subscribe for more content like this. Hope to see you next time. Very cool.